welcome to our channel in the last session we discussed the implementation of set interface with three classes as such linked has set and tree set and the, we are using integer objects now in this session we are moving to the same implementation of set interface with the has set linked has set and tree set but here we are considering user defined objects for example book details here what is the procedure simply first you are considering a book with some set of parameters by using implementation classes we are providing the values now we will discuss one by one how to write this program now moving to this eclipse ide go to any project suppose under pack 1 package is already created under this package create one class new class so assume my class name is book details this is my class this class consists of the information about the books now see here within this one i am writing my information what are the parameters you required so i required public string code of the book code of the book comma name of the book comma author of the book so these three string parameters i required now public float price that is the cost of the book and if you want you can write the number of quantity how many number of quantity like this you can take any number of parameters that is not a problem here i am taking five parameters now by using constructor initialize all the values book details of string code comma string name comma string author comma float price comma int quantity okay now simply assign this dot code is equal to code this dot code is equal to code next like this this dot name is equal to name i think everyone know this procedure just to reading and initializing right now i am not doing anything related to set interface i already defined one object i already suppose if it is a integer or a string predefined but this is user defined that is the reason i am defining the object got it this dot quantity is equal to quantity a constructor is created like this now one more method which is used for displaying so for that we are using public string two string i am override the two string method for integer object for string object two string is automatically available no need to write but here this is the user defined you need to override so i am writing the code written display the information in your row wise code plus slash t give some space the meaning is like this name plus slash t plus author plus slash t plus next one is price slash t and finally quantity okay so reading of five variables initialization by using constructor and display by using two string method everything is completed right now this is not useful whenever i am moving to the program of search there i assigned this one now create another package if you want you can use in the same package otherwise you want you can move to another package so right click on src new package take package pack to under this package right click create one class uh, for example the class is demo 
set books assume this is my class name demo set books or else directly demo set two which consists of main method now first step is import pack one dot star and i need some scanner statement also import java dot util dot star import java dot util dot star okay now order is also very important okay import java dot util dot star fine now coming to our program step by step first to create one scanner object scanner some sc is equal to new scanner of system dot in new scanner of system dot in one scanner object is created which is used for reading the input from the user reading the input from the user now try with resource so for just end of try with resource so here what is the purpose of this one you know once the try block is completed automatically the scanner object is also destroyed you no need to do anything automatically that is destroyed that is the reason i am using this try now within this set here previously you are writing either integer or string now what is the object book details here you need to do the operation on this one so write down this class name book details you got it book details initially some ob is equal to null string some s is equal to null the purpose is on which we are performing the operation now try immediately end of try end of try within the try do our step while you already know how to write the logic end of while loop so here the loop is repeated first for displaying for displaying the object so if you are selecting option one hash set is selected if you are selecting option two linked hash set selecting option three tree set like this you already discussed in the previous program see this one in the previous last session we discussed the same thing so if the choice is hash set linked hash set tree set so enter your choice if your choice is one hash set is selected choice is two linked hash set choice is three tree set is selected choice is three tree set is selected like this so here i will copy up to end of the switch only why you already know just to, this is the typing program see this one while true the choice is while true the choice is hash set linked hash set tree set exist just to display purpose read the choice now instead of integer here book details you got it instead of integer book details here also that means on which object we are doing the operation book details right now tree sets operations are stopped system dot exit so end of the switch statement end of the switch statement once the switch statement is completed once the switch statement is completed we are displaying some message system dot out dot print ln operations are stopped just to for my understanding i am displaying some message operations stopped yes and here we are using this completed this one is completed now next to what is your aim you need to perform the operations addition operation removal operation like this addition removal now we are taking one more loop over here what you are doing just i am copying this one only remaining things i am not doing anything see here what i am doing 
జస్ట్ వైల్ ట్రూ ద చాయిస్ యాడు రిమూవ్ ఎగ్జిట్ యాడు రిమూవ్ ఎగ్జిట్ దిస్ ఈస్ ఎండ్ ఆఫ్ వైల్ లూప్ దిస్ ఈస్ ఎండ్ ఆఫ్ వైల్ లూప్ ఓకే రైట్ హియర్ విత్ ఇన్ దిస్ లూప్ ఎంటర్ యువర్ చాయిస్ స్విచ్ ఆఫ్ సమ్ చాయిస్ స్విచ్ ఆఫ్ సమ్ చాయిస్ దట్ ఈస్ ఎస్సి డాట్ So, actually, if you want to use like this, how do you write the statement? Integer dot parse int of sc dot next line of. See this one? This is the switch case. Here, write down case by case first case 1 within case 1 what we are doing we are performing addition operation so addition means simply read one element add that is integer read one string add that is string here you need to read all these five details you got the point you need to read all the five details see this one so here i will type System dot out dot print ln. Just for my understanding, enter book code. Enter book code. String. String. Some book code is equal to sc dot next line of. sc dot next line of. So, book code is read. Now, like this. Enter. book code is completed so book name suppose string some variable b name is equal to sc dot next to line of enter book author enter book author so here i used the variable name as book author next enter book price so b here price is i taken as float price i taken as float float dot parse float of sc dot next line of sc dot next line of okay now f l o a t so here price next one quantity book quantity i taken this one as integer so here book quantity int int integer dot parse int of integer dot parse int of sc dot next line like this i am reading all the information now you know all the procedure here we already created an object ob ob dot add of here instead of reading in the single line i am reading outside so add each and every one b code comma b name comma b author comma b price comma b quantity b quantity so addition operation is completed like this i am adding all the details i am adding all the details you got it after that you can do iteration so you know iterator on which book details iterator on book detail some iterator object is equal to ob dot iterator of just to after adding i am displaying the details for that purpose here we are using this iterator for that purpose we are using this iterator here it shows error see what the error here b code okay b name is string b author b price it's a float next to b quantity everything is okay 
the method add in the type set book range is not applicable to string here move to book details what i written string 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 float integer not this one here also b code is a string and b name is also a string b author is also a string now enter the book price book price is the float value book price is the float value and book quantity anyway we will see iterator object is created now you know the remaining procedure while iterator dot has next if next to any element is available next any element is available system dot how dot print ln it dot next it dot next of this is the end of loop this is the end of this loop break coming out of case one coming out of case one this is end of switch end of switch now coming to case two in case two what you are doing we are doing removal operation so first we are checking if the set consists of any element or not if e is empty the meaning is it does not consist of any element just to display system dot out dot print ln set is empty so if the set is empty not possible to delete yes for everything i am writing l just for understanding in the else means at least one element is available now so here a record consists of multiple elements on what basis you are going to remove the record so on based on the author based on the price based on the quantity based on the code like that previously only one element is there no need of any condition but here each record consists of multiple things so system dot n out dot print ln enter the b code to remove Re not only b code you can take anything based on that one we are performing the operation so user is entered one branch code sc dot next to line of based on the branch code only here i am remove the operation what is the first step first you need to check whether the user entered branch code is available or not so for that i am taking one variable initially false by using iterator we are checking step by step iterator book details iterator book details some it2 is equal to ob dot iterator of ob dot iterator now in this iteration what we are doing move one by one while it2 dot has next it2 dot has next next to any element is available now i am comparing my entered book code with the existing book code entered book code with the existing book code for that comparison first i am retrieving the book code so book details some object is equal to actually it2 dot next observe here what happened it2 dot next it returns the next row that is the entire next row in terms of iterator object yes or no it returns the iterator object but here what you need to do you want in the terms of book details so perform type casting you know that one within the bracket you are writing the data type here what the iterator is converted into book details object now check the comparison if bc my entered book code is equals to my entered book code is equals to bd dot 
book code bd dot sum code what is the name i given here here i given the name as code now you got it how by using this iterator i am extracting that extract object by using that object i use this comparison so bc dot equal my entered is compared with this one if both are true i assigned a value true and then simply I am doing removal operation, removal of BD. That entire BD in the sense, the entire record. You got it? So if you remove code, only code is removed. But I need to remove the entire row that consists of code. That is the concept. That is the concept. Display some message. System dot out dot print ln removed successfully. Just one message removed successfully. Break. Break. Now, this is end of the if statement. This is end of this loop statement. End of if, end of loop. Now, within this one, if not p, that is p initially p is equal to false, if not p. If not P in the sense that element that is the element is not available. System dot out dot print ln sub message invalid book code. We are displaying some message invalid book code. Okay. Otherwise, otherwise. So if not means directly you are writing iterator, iterator, some book details some it3 is equal to ob dot iterator after deletion also for displaying purpose after deletion displaying purpose while it3 dot has next so same procedure is repeated multiple number of times. This is end of the loop, end of the else and then break. Now coming to case 3. What is my case 3? Simply operations are stopped. System dot out dot print ln operations are stopped plus some string s. Yes. Operations are stopped now. Break. Here I am using some loop repeatedly. I am using some loop repeatedly before the while. General break is we are coming. This is labeled break. This is labeled break. Once you are writing this one, break PQR means we are coming out of this PQR loop only, not from this entire one. So, after that, you are writing some default case. Default case is system dot out dot print ln invalid choice. I am displaying some message invalid choice. Okay. Now, end of switch statement, end of the loop. This is again end of the loop, end of try. There you need to write catch. Catch. Some exception e system dot out dot print ln simply display e. So end of try with resource. This is the main method. This is the class. Now observe where we have error here. Sc dot integer one more bracket. Fine. Now save this one. Any errors? Here we have an error. Observe book details. One angular bracket is additional. Here ob dot add of. Here only this method add of book details. So here add is fine. So I am reading all the data. Enter the book code. It is a string. Book name is a string. Book author is a string. Three are strings. Enter the book price. It is a float. It is a quantity. And the object is ob. Ob dot add of the five parameters. Book code, book name, 
book author book price and book quantity here this method add of book details in the type set to book details is not applicable for the arguments string string float float here we observe what happened that is the normal procedure of adding oh sorry ob dot add of i forgot constructor only through constructor you need to pass the values now fine save run an error occurred in the program exception unresolved compilation the local variable it may not be initialized here we will check where we are forgot to initialize the local variable 100 line number 100 system dot out dot print ln here it 3 here it 3 now see this one enter the choice suppose if i select choice as one has it now operations are performed and has it so enter the choice one here enter the choice it gives an exception it gives an exception now move to the program here Hash set is selected. After selecting the hash set, operations are stopped. Tree set OK. While true, here integer dot pass int of sc dot next line of. Here enter the choice case one. We are adding the book details. We are adding the book details. Case one. This is OK for input string number format exception here here one time we are used this one no problem here also you need to read like this save again run the program enter the choice choice is one and we are selecting hash h now add operation enter the book code b123 enter the book name java enter the book author abc enter the book price enter the book quantity now like this one record is inserted suppose again enter the choice book code now now so b121 so book name cpp book author some xyz book price some 300 book quantity some 50 now observe by default if you are selecting hash set they are stored in a random fashion if you are selecting hash set they are arranged in the insertion order but if you are selecting tree set they are arranged in the sorted order but the question is if integer you know the sorting if the string objects you know the sorting but here these are book details how the sorting is performed on what basis based on book code or based on price or based on quantity i will show you now select option to b124 the book is not available see this one invalid book code suppose again i select the choice i entered b123 so the book is removed successfully this is the remaining now choice three what i am doing here choice for exit now my thing is go to the program here what you need to do removal of that is sorting operation based on one parameter whether you can perform sorting on code or name or author price quantity so you need to do sorting operation on one parameter so here for that we are using predefined interface comparable predefined interface comparable 
So this interface takes one parameter and do the comparison int. We have one method compare to is available. So take the super class object. Object is the super class just to do the comparison. Public int compare to you need to book details some bd is equal to so you know the meaning object is the super class that object class is converted into book details that object class is converted into book details now do the comparison suppose into some z is equal to here you need to comparison based on suppose code code dot code dot compare the normal procedure bd dot code bd dot code in the sense one code is compared with already existed code suppose this is my existed code this is compared with the new one like this we are doing the comparison we are doing the comparison here simple value if z is equal to equal to zero means what you are doing return z so that means both are equal else if z greater than 0 written 1 1 specifies the first one is greater than second one else written minus 1 the first one is less than second one like this the comparison operation is performed here bd code in the sense already existed code is compared with the newly entered code compared with the newly entered code so, like this, if this is used for tree search, why the sorting operation, comparison of sorting, I will show you. Now, execute. Enter the choice. Choice is one. First, add operation. Book code. Suppose, book name, book author, book price, book quantity. Now, Again, option 1, add operation. Now, B121, book name, book author, book quantity, book price. See this one, automatically they are arranged based on code, based on code. That is this comparable interface. Now, you got it. How we are doing? This compare to is used for user defined object comparison. Okay, this is the concept implementation of set interface for book details. That's the end of today's session. Thank you.